Welcome to Electra Online. So let's start out with a multiplication. Looks a little bit challenging, but if we use the rules, it's not as bad as you might think. All right, so here we have a product of x to the 3 halves, y to the 1 third, multiplied times a trinomial, which means we're going to take this and multiply it times each of the three terms inside the parentheses, one at a time. And remember, if the bases are the same, we add exponents, and that's the key. So this becomes equal to 3 times x to the, now add exponents, we get 3 quarters plus 2, and y to the 1 third plus 1 half. It's not a bad idea to simply just write it out like that, to simply write the summation of the exponents since we're multiplying. And then the second term, we get minus 2, x to the 3 quarters plus 3, and then we get y to the 1 third, oop, I said, I said third, but I wrote 2, plus a minus quarter, and notice I wrote, since I'm summing exponents together, I put the plus there, but realizing we're adding a negative exponent, so it's not a bad idea to write it like that, and finally, plus 7 times x to the 3 quarters, and then we have plus 1 half, and then we have y to the 1 third, plus 2. All right, so that's how we have it now once we've multiplied. We simply wrote it as a sum of the exponents. Now, if the denominators are different, we need to, a common denominator. For example, here we're adding a whole number, 2 3 quarters. So we're going to rewrite this as 3x to the 3 quarters, and 2 can be written plus 8 quarters times y to the, now notice the common denominator would be 6, so it would be 2 sixths plus 3 sixths minus 2x. Here again, we write over 3 over 4, and that would be plus 12 over 4, because if I take 12 divided by 4, I get 3 again. And here we get y. Here the common denominator would be 12, that would be 4 twelfths, minus 3 twelfths plus 7 times x. The common denominator here is 4, so it would be 3 fourths plus 2 fourths, and y, the common denominator here is 3, 1 third plus 6 thirds, because 6 divided by 3 gives you 2 again. So it's always a good idea to check to make sure you converted each exponent correctly. Now notice we have all the exponents over the same common denominator, so now this can be written as 3x to the 3 plus 8, which is 11 fourths. That's not a good looking 11. Here we go. Uh, y to the 2 plus 3 would be 5 sixths minus 2. That would be x to the 3 plus 12 is 15 fourths. Y to the 4 minus 3, which is 1 twelfth. And then plus 7. X to the 3 plus 2, which is 5 fourths. And we get y 1 plus 6, which would be 7 thirds. And since we can't simplify any of the exponents, that's about as good as it gets. That's as far as we can go. And that is how it's done.